welcome uh, back to the channel today we find ourselves in uh, berlin of all places and uh, i went down here for a bit of a vacation with my son and i thought i'd uh, take the opportunity to explore some more LoRa APRS and uh, let me tell you if you ever get the opportunity and the permission to bring a LoRa APRS device on an airplane then uh, there's lots of uh, fun to be had with that as you're seeing on screen now in the center of the screen you'll see a, a map that's going to update uh, every three seconds and every three seconds is going to be one full minute of uh, my time on the plane. You will see uh, all the stations that uh, picked up my transmissions, at least uh, all the ones that are logging uh, with the standard uh, logging options for the uh, Gusman uh, firmware. And uh, I think the, uh, the colors of the lines between my plane's location and uh, the ground station is uh, indicative of the signal strength. On the, uh, on the far right of the screen, you will see all the messages I both transmitted and the ones I received whilst on, uh, on board the aircraft. Um, you'll see that uh, there's uh, Lima Bravo 5, Juliet, Juliet, and dash uh, 9 and uh, Lima Bravo 5, Juliet, Juliet, dash 13. This is because the uh, the tracker that I brought, I'm using that as a TNC from the APRS.fi app in, uh, in my iPhone. And in addition, that, would, uh, that device would uh, beacon on its own. And uh, so Lima Bravo 5, Juliet, Juliet-9 is my iPhone with the APRS.fi app. And uh, Lima Bravo 5, Juliet, Juliet-13 is the, uh, the tracker uh, beaconing on its own. Um, so you will see as uh, as we progress along the uh, the, the trip from uh, OSL to BER, that's from the Oslo Main Airport in Oslo to uh, the uh, Berlin. I can't remember the name of that airport, but it's a, I think it's a main airport in Berlin. It's got the code BER at least. You will see all the uh, all the stations that uh, picked me up, and also on the far right you will see all the stations that I picked up. Quite a few times I. I was able to hear my own uh, beacon digipeated back, which I think it's uh, pretty damn cool to do when you're uh, on an airplane. I'll, uh, I've taken some notes. I'll summarize uh, some of the highlights from, uh, from the, uh, the experience. And uh, please excuse me from, uh, for a moment while I look at my list. Let's see. We have uh, Sierra Kilo 3 Whiskey-10. That station uh, picked me up at a distance of 460 kilometers. That's pretty damn impressive. And there's more Swedish stations. Sierra Mike 3 X-Ray Lima Yankee dash 10 at 425 kilometers. Sierra Mike 5 Alpha Juliet Victor dash 10 at 420 kilometers. Pretty amazing stuff if you ask me. I, uh, I did some back of envelope uh, calculations and uh, if, uh, if my calculations are correct, then uh, with the distance that uh, was covered by uh, Sierra Kilo 3 Whiskey-10, um, if you draw that in a circle, that would mean I, uh, I was in coverage area of 0.13% uh, of the Earth's surface. Now, 0.13% doesn't sound like an awfully big number, but I would say that the Earth's surface is an awfully big number. Uh, to do that as a, as a fraction instead, that would mean that from the airplane, I was heard by one part in 750 of the Earth's surface. That's just pretty amazing for a small home-built device costing maybe 10, 12 uh, dollars or euros and uh, transmitting with 100 milliwatts of uh, power. So absolutely pretty amazing. If you ever get the opportunity to and the permission to bring a LoRa APRS device on board an airplane, try it. It's an incredible amount of fun. It was really fun sitting there watching, uh, watching all these signals come and go. Uh, let's see, anything else I should uh, mention? No, I think that's, uh, that pretty much uh, covers all of it. Um, if you're into uh, 
LoRa APRS or other digital things, then uh, please consider subscribing. If you like this short update, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, I'm, uh, I'm not going to comment uh, too much on uh, the exact details. I don't want to get anyone into trouble. But uh, please leave a comment if you have uh, anything to say. Other than that, I'll just say till uh, till next time. Seven three.